when the when the quote comes up on your screen, you will see something that Martino texted me this morning. Uh, this is bleeping miserable. I think there are a couple other words I could put there. Um, this Chelsea team, along with Liverpool, have been some of the least fun teams to bet on. Just you have no idea what to expect. Um, but we have a job to do. So tell me what to expect in this game. Again, um, listen, tight score line that we had from there. There was opportunities for quite a few goals. We, As we know, Chelsea this season, this is why I say it's so miserable is because I hate betting on them. I hate talking about it, but we have no choice. Um, listen, the, the potential for both teams to score is obviously there. I agree with this. And again, when you're in the second leg now, it's a totally different approach as to how you used to bet. And even without the away goal difference at this point, games are definitely more open in the past as opposed to now, because now you just take your one and ride it out into extra time if you could. Um, with this, Chelsea are just not the type of finishing team that you want to rely upon when it goes into terms of team totals or even overall totals. Um I think both teams to score, maybe if you're just asking for one, they're at home at the very least. There's a high intensity to mm. this. Dortmund is shaky at times on defense, but they also create a lot. If anything, maybe you could look at Dortmund with team totals again, try and look for some of those overs. But for me, I just I have zero confidence in any time I'm placing this at this point because I was the most confident bet I had with Chelsea um, was when they hit the post three times and there was a goal line clearance in the first <laughs> leg of this matchup. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I'm going to be wrong. And it's a Chelsea 3 nothing win with the way things are going. But um, I, I, I would say here the most reliable thing that you could go with at this point is Dortmund scoring in this because they've been incredibly hot in all competitions. They played well last game, again, against Chelsea. And listen, mm. to still advance, for, for them to advance was that plus money. We'll see how that goes. And again, there's always the live betting within this. If Dortmund are, you know, it's a 1-1 um game at that point in time there's always something to look at or even if you like chelsea pre-match it with this because you like to ride out with home teams in this competition um but yeah overall this is such a tough read for me i think this one's just miserable i just i hate it i hate it so much (laughs) you did say it was bleeping miserable so i i I believe you um i i see this being one one um if you ask me to make a prediction with my brain um, unfortunately, games like this don't usually tend to uh, you know, lend themselves to, to using your brain uh, for these sorts of predictions. I, I think both teams do end up getting on the score sheet and scoring here. Um, so I have a couple of different options for you. Um, under two and a half, I think, does have a better chance than we think um, of coming through. And that is a risky bet for the second leg, like you mentioned, because teams yeah. get a little more desperate. And it's a little different now that the away goal isn't worth double. Um, but it's, it is a little riskier. So if you do want to take it, I think I like this option a little better. Uh, both teams to score and under three and a half, you can get that at plus 142. Um, I, I do think both teams, again, it's probably not going to happen because we're saying it, but I think more than likely yeah. both teams will find a chance to score here. Um, and under three and a half, I think you're protecting yourself against the fact that just Chelsea is just a brutal team trying to put the ball in the back of the net. So if this ends 2-1 or anything like that, right. um, you know, it, you're still protected. I'm just mostly riding out, honestly, my Dortmund to advance uh, bet that we had put yeah. before the first leg. Yeah, and again, listen, Chelsea had their opportunities. Um, mm-hmm. There's 21 shots registered, eight were on target. Like I mentioned, Joao Felix was, was playing very well. It's just the end product's just not there. Mm-hmm. And at this point, if you're just trying to rely upon them, like to advance they're gonna have to score multiple goals at that point if the game's more open that would favor Dortmund in my opinion just because they have the better finishing on their side um that's really what it comes down to um again there was a lot of yellow cards last game by the way 10 so Mm -hmm. could be chippy and again if you want to look at some future stuff player suspensions those still carry over um I, I think that matters and a lot of this field is wide open this year um Mm-hmm. It, this is not there's no clear-cut favorite team we saw it when city was playing as well but i think probably both teams to score safe and i do like with under three and a half but again i i, I like it for you i don't like anything for me <laughs> nothing nothing is safe nothing is safe um in this game <laughs>